Human activity affects wildlife. And while many of you are environmental studies majors, you certainly don't need to be to understand that humans affect the environment in a variety of ways, whether we are talking about our trash, pollution, or land use. Now, as someone who is primarily interested in animal behavior, I find it interesting to take a step back from the myriad of conservation issues associated with human activity and simply think about the direct impact that our mere presence has on animal behavior. The ecology of fear centers on how prey species respond to predator presence. Recent work in this field has suggested that humans essentially function as super predators, causing a series of behavioral changes in a variety of species, from pumas to burrowing owls. For my project, which was conducted in the Santa Cruz Mountains this fall, I focused on two species which are uh, commonly found in the area. Many of you will be familiar with these. We have the striped skunk and the Virginia opossum. Um, past research uh, has shown that human presence um, suppresses both the overall activity levels and the foraging success of both of these species. Yet, as we all know, skunks and opossums are commonly found in areas of high human um, density and building density. I wanted to investigate whether these mesopredators living in areas of high building density are as fearful of humans as their rural counterparts that were studied in this um, past research, or if maybe that these urban dwelling uh, mesopredators have become habituated to human presence and therefore don't um, display the same behavioral changes when we are present. To answer this question, our research team set up a series of camera traps and speakers at 13 sites across a gradient of building level densities across the Santa Cruz Mountains. Some sites were in protected areas and required some serious off-trail hiking to reach, while others were in the backyards of generous homeowners who agreed to host our equipment for this experiment. One such site was located right here at the base of our UCSC campus. We used battery powered speakers, shown in this picture here, to manipulate human presence so that we could compare the effect that perceived human presence had on species in areas of low um, building density versus high building density. As a control, we used Pacific tree frog vocalizations. We used this species as it is local to the Santa Cruz Mountains, does not pose a um, prey or predator species to either skunks or opossums, and it can commonly be heard both at day and um, during the night. We ran the experiment for eight weeks, um, utilizing a repeated measures design, meaning that um, we randomly selected half of the sites to begin with the control experiment, which played for um, four weeks, and then half of the sites to begin with the experimental treatment. And after four weeks, we switched. Meanwhile, the motion sensitive cameras were programmed to take a burst of three photos when triggered by motion, um, separated by a one minute delay between um, triggerings of bursts. I also placed a hard boiled egg at each site in order to investigate the foraging behavior of both of these species. I was interested in whether the likelihood of a mesopredator finding and consuming the egg differed between the human and the frog treatment and or between um, high building density and low building density. For both the overall activity levels and the foraging trials, I considered the effects of the human treatment, um, the building density level, and the interaction between these two variables. I conducted all analyses using R software in order to test for significance. The results revealed that skunks reduced their activity level in response to perceived human presence, and that this reduction was consistent across housing density levels meaning that both the city and rural skunks were equally afraid of humans and adjusted their behavior accordingly, coming out more frequently during the frog vocalization treatment than the human. Meanwhile, Virginia opossums um, exhibited a negative correlation with building density, and individuals living in areas of high building density were actually more sensitive to human presence than those living in areas of low building density. Their foraging success was also negatively impacted by human presence. The opossum results were interesting in that it went completely against the idea of habituation and instead lent support for sensitization, suggesting that increased exposure to humans actually heightened their fear of humans. Overall, my research found that striped skunks and Virginia opossums both exhibit behavioral changes in response to human activity, and that um, individuals living in developed areas are either equally or in some cases more fearful of humans than their rural counterparts. 
It certainly gives us some insight into what our next door neighbors really think of us. Thank you.